Hello everyone, this is just a short introduction to this nice uh, new offering by Festo uh, for decentralized or remote I.O. Um, you can see the modules right in front of your screen. And basically the way that this works is you have uh, something like this. You, so usually you have a PLC that that PLC can communicate or, or over a, a, a particular protocol, for example, EtherCAD, EtherNIP, Profinet, and so on. What we do is we grab this field bus and we connect to this communication module from Festo. And then from this module, we can branch out and communicate to several other, other different modules. You're gonna see that later on in the video on the actual hardware, uh, where we can communicate to uh, digital input modules, valve, valve manifolds, IO link modules, and so on. Uh, usually the topology look, looks like this on a machine. You have multiple devices all throughout the machine, scattered throughout the machine, and you want to control these devices. So what we can do is we can just put these modules all around the machine. So now you bring the IO directly into the module, and then you just send uh, one communication cable and power cable back to the main source of communication. The other nice application for these modules is end of arm tool for robots, right? So you can have the communication module here at the base of the module of the robot, sorry. And uh, uh, on the end of arm tool, you can have the valve manifold, some IO points and so on. Um, and you just bring one cable for communication and one cable for power and that's it. Now, in terms of which modules do we have, we, these on the left-hand side, you can see the different uh, field buses that we support. On the middle there, you can see we have digital input, uh, digital output modules, um, digital input, digital output modules, analog modules for four to 20 milliamps, uh, zero to 10 volts, RTV signals, and also the IO link master with four channels. And the nice thing is that we also support valve manifolds. Everything falls under the same uh, communication protocol. So um, please take a look at the uh, at the example that continue, that's about to, to start here and uh, hope you enjoy the video. What I have here today is the new decentralized IO solution from Festo. And what is this? It's just basically these modules that you can see here. I have one, two, three, four, five modules right now that you can see here in this picture. Um, this module is the main module for communication. And as you can see here, it says EC. That's for EtherCAT. This is an EtherCAT module. And it is communicating with this green cable to an EtherCAT master. In this case, a Festo... Uh, PLC, which is an EtherCAT master with this in this in this particular port. Now, once I communicate over EtherCAT, I can branch out from here from this module. I can branch out to several different modules. Uh, like in this case, this one over here. This is a four digital input, four digital output module. So then from here, I go to a next module by a daisy chain connection here. Uh, in this case, this is an eight digital input, eight digital input, and eight digital input. So you can see three modules here, another module here. So now I have what, 20, uh, 24 times uh, plus four, I have 28 inputs, four outputs right now in front of you. Um, the nice thing about this is that you can keep the you can keep the infrastructure below the PLC. So, for example, this could be a Rockwell PLC. It could be a Siemens PLC um, or something different. Uh, we can support Ethernet IP, EtherCAT, Modbus TCP, and Profinet. So, the only thing that I would change is this module to be able to communicate to something else. Um, the other nice feature is that uh, the way to commission these modules is just put power to it. Uh, to the topology and this module recognizes everything that's connected to it so no more need to register every single module like this one and then this one and then this one everything is done automatically so right now I'm running a, a little PLC code that what it does is I'm just by pressing this button here this this input so I'm going to press this input and as, as soon as I press it you're gonna you're gonna see some outputs changing here so take a look at that pressed and now some outputs are going uh are turning on switching on um and that's it that's that's uh what i'm showing you now there's one other thing that i wanted to show as well here you can see all of these cables it's because i'm daisy chaining from one module to the other right in this case three modules in one other module here but i also have these other cables and these are going to another module where so let's follow these cables here for a second so I'm in my office and I'm going to follow these cables and see this is these are 15 meter cables. 
One of them is for power, the other one is for communication. So I follow those cables and I arrive to another module. And as you can see, this is also switching on some inputs, switching on and off. This is also a four digital input and four digital output module. So these are the inputs and these are the outputs, right? And I here, here I have two more cables that I'm going, I'm using to go somewhere else. So let's follow those cables. Those are 15 meters steel. So 15 meters cables and I follow those and I go into this meeting room here behind the TV, follow those cables and now I, I arrive to the next module. Now here you can see I'm controlling a device. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Uh, but here's another device. So this is the next module. Now the cool thing about this one is that this is an IO-Link module. So I can connect any IO-Link device. This can be, I don't know, from, from other vendor, right? Doesn't have to be a FESO device. So this can be from another vendor. In this case, I'm driving a valve manifold, as you can see here. This would be, this is my first connection here on port number one. And then on, on the second port, I have this stack light. This is an IO-Link stack light that I'm driving from that um, PLC that I showed you on the other office. So all of this on 15 meter cables going, well, this, this was the first set of cables. Then there was the other one. So that's a total of thir 30 meters of cables um, to be able to drive this, um, this module maybe far away from uh, in your machine on your line you can do this as well. And everything under a single EtherCAT slave. I'm gonna have a follow-up video to show you how, this, how easy this is done and how easy it is to commission these modules uh, in a programming environment.